for plays in which you need to edit, which there will be time where you have to do so, you can do so one of two ways. On the iOS devices, all you'll need to do is click on plays, click on the edit button, and you can go through and just delete the play from there. You can also, as you're in the main home page here, go ahead and delete it straight from this screen. For scoring plays, again you'll be entering in the plays the exact same way, selecting the runner, and you can do so one of two ways. One, you can drag the ball all the way into the end zone, or you can just select touchdown is on. When selecting a scoring play, the clock will automatically pop up so you'll remember to change the clock. This helps with time of possession and for any game center purposes. Select the clock, click done, hit next, and the next screen take you to is to put in a special teams play for the point after attempt. In this case, we're going to select our kicker, select that the kick was good, and click next. As you can see, the score has reflected the change and is now 7-0, and we're ready for our next play.